All right, guys, how it's going? I'm back with another Rush Tool deck. I know I thought I said I wasn't gonna do a Thunder deck, but it's actually way better than I thought it was gonna be. I saw it didn't have any maximum summons, so I thought it wasn't gonna be as good, but it's still really good because of something like Stormbolt Destroyer. When your opponent has two or less cards, you get a special summon to level four Thunder Normal from your graveyard. Very good. Then we have Thunder Calvary Trigger Drago. Send the top card of your deck to the graveyard. Gains 300 until the end of this turn. Then if your opponent has no cards in their hand, you gain Pierce. Very strong monster. 2800 virtually all the time. Then we got this guy, Sensor Duckbill, who can place one card from your hand to the bottom of the deck and then add a... What is it? Five or higher? Yep, five or higher from your graveyard. So one of our boss monsters. That's why we're only running six. And But he's a little boys. 800, 600. He is Thunder though. Then of course, Thunder the Thunder. Send one card from your hand. Someone loses 300. Pretty good. New Blast Jaws. If your opponent has one or less cards, Thunder type gains 400. Force Raider works with the skill Lightning Trigger. Believe it or not, it is not a very restrictive skill. Uh, only if... Uh, can be used at the decks only monsters except for level four so you can have any kind of level four monster but everything else has to be thunder type so we do have the voice raider 1900 level four very good everything else is thunder type of course thunder spark when they attack and we have a thunder in the graveyard they lose 500 very strong two legend trap and spells very very strong and just the skill makes it a relevant archetype. I didn't think Thunder would be an actual archetype. It's just the type of card would be relevant. But it is. It totally is. So we've gone through it. Hope you guys enjoy. And thanks for watching. Alright, here we are facing another nail. We're going first. He's on a three win streak, believe it or not. We're going to uh, take him off that. He's using the Sky Emperor. 33 cards though. Starting with a Stormbolt, Normal, Thunder Monsters, and a Tribute of the Doom. It's really good, but we're just going to start by setting one. He's got Thunder as well, but he, then he's got a Summon Skull and a Dinosaur. But another Thunder. I don't, I don't know what he's going for. Hitting us for a good amount of damage, though. 2k left. We're going to Tribute of the Doom. Probably throw away the Thunder Thunder. That's right. Now he's gone. Set 2. That's going to be the Stormbolt. And that's going to bring a monster out from our graveyard. Lightning Trigger is going to lower one of them. He gets hit with the low boy. He gets hit with the big boy. That's a prismatic Durabi. Isn't that crazy to see? You ever think you'd see that? But anyway, he's got all the thunders we got. He's got another Yurabi, a random Aqua. So his deck is all over the place. Widespread Ruin. Two of our big monsters. Special summon him once again. There's our Jaws. He's going to buff him up. And then we tribute summon. He's going to buff himself up to 2800s. And we got another normal summon in the Surge Bolt Lizard. Set the widespread ruin. Use the skill to lower the monster. Then hit for really, really close to lethal. 100 life points left for our guy here. Shows another machine in attack position though. Very bold. We're going to buff up to 2800. Tries to use the barrier. Obviously not enough. We're still going to hit for lethal. Shouldn't have put him in attack position. Not sure what he was thinking. But we'll take it. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are going first against a Yuga. Let's see how that goes. Looks like over 30 over there. 37, in fact. We got a Stormbolt and a Thunder Spark. And a normal Thunder Monster to use with the Stormbolt. Obviously, he has too many in hand. To actually use the effect but we still will bring out the storm bolt and set the thunder saving the trigger drago for a better turn as he does get higher he's got a vorse raider he's got harpies he's got max raider now we use thunder spark he falls below the storm bolt by a significant amount and he's in big trouble because now we got a vorse raider too he uses his effect to bring out the extra two that's a free trigger draco and the Vorse Raider using the skill to lower him even through the barrier it's no big deal whatsoever he's gonna take a massive amount of damage guys super close to lethal and uh, yeah burn cards nope uh, you don't feel too scared when you see that open the turn 
Let's get a Harpy Lady destroys our Vorse Raider. Really, literally all he could do. And we just swing for lethal. That easy, guys. Great, great stuff. All right, here we are going second against a Yuga on a tiny win streak. About as small as you can get. He's using Dark Magician Girl, and it looks like Silent Magician over there. Pretty cool to uh, counter our Harpies. No big monster for us yet, but we did get Widespread Ruin. He's going straight 1500, boys. No, he even tributes a 1600, so we see what he is. We still don't get a big boy. 1500, 1500, 1500, maybe we'll kamikaze, we sure do. Risky move in the two back row, but it pays off just fine. He's got back row hate, so we will lose our widespread ruin, that's pretty devastating. He even gets to use her effect, which is gonna in turn buff her, and even more if she has the skill. So, uh, yeah, big, uh, not good for us. Oh no, he goes over her though, that was kind of a bad play. She gets to mill and buff, he gets to use the skill to buff her. 2300, 2400, enough to rule the field obviously. We get our big boy though, 2800 is definitely going to be enough to rule the field. He only has one card in hand which means our boys are going to be able to buff. Now what should we buff? Probably the e lower monsters, not the 2800, so him too. No, one up to 2k, okay that's, that's uh, really good, we lower him. Fantastic play by me. We covered all back row with that math. So barrier couldn't hurt us. He's got a thunder thunder of his own and the Rice Terrace secure. Swings over our tiniest boy. Dark Magician Girls over our other shark. We're still fine though. We got a Vorse Raider. Two of the Thunder uh, Sparks. There's the Vorse Raider. There's the Angler Koi Fish. Coil fish. Dark Magician Girl's gone. Other boy's gone. Phantom Bind just lowers our lowest boys. Honestly, gotta save that to save a monster, honestly. Period of Doom, he's getting everything he needs. There goes our biggest. Still Vorse Raiders, a beast to get over. Fire Golem Spellcaster. He's down to a thousand. Now Tornada can do it. He also destroys one of our Thunder Thunder. Sell roads up to 2400. We're gonna Thunder Spark to Kamikaze him. Only a thousand life left, so he's gotta really hope that back row can put in a lot of work. We're gonna use the duck, throw away the tribute of Doom at our biggest boy. No real point in doing that. Stormbolt's going to bring him out. Amazingly resource efficient. We don't even bring out our biggest boy and just finish him with one swing. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are facing another nail. We're still going to see that mirror match for a while, no matter what deck you're really playing. Thanks to Archive Skills. He's up to 36 with Beyond Curiosity, though, so that is pure cybers. We got Tribute to the Doom firsthand, though. One copy out of 30. Very lucky to get. And he's starting with the big boys, so we're going to put it to use. We could swing over it without Tribute. Looks like we might. Looks like we might. I think we will. Yeah, we're going to save Tribute of the Doom. Lightning Trigger, he's low. Fantastic play by me. Now we have Tribute of Doom. Could have said it, but uh, Cybers definitely has back row hate, so we don't want to mess around. His Atron will work because he does have the Femtron in the graveyard. Uh, Peacock Femtron, I think is what that was called. No, that's Zephtron. Sorry, there he is. Peacock on this one again. Come here, you. Picotron, sorry. He's just a draw too though. We normal summon a second Trigger Drago. Now we use the Tribute of the Doom. This way we're getting quick lethal. 2800 across the board. They always do it that way. Simple, simple decks. Easy, easy stuff. Great, great stuff guys. Alright, here we are going second against a Yuga on a tiny win streak. About as small as you can get. He's using Dark Magician Girl and it looks like Silent Magician over there. Pretty cool to uh, counter our Harpies. No big monster for us yet, but we did get Widespread Ruin. He's going straight 1500 boys. No, he even tributes a 1600, so we see what he is. We still don't get a big boy. 1500, 1500, 1500. Maybe we'll Kamikaze, we sure do. Risky move in the two back row, but it pays off just fine. He's got back row hate, so we will lose our Widespread Ruin. That's pretty devastating. He even gets to use her effect, which is going to in turn buff her, and even more if she has the skill. So, uh, yeah, big, uh, not good 
for us. Oh no, he goes over her though. That was kind of a bad play. She gets to mill and buff. He gets to use the skill to buff her. 2300, 2400. Enough to rule the field, obviously. We get our big boy though. 2800 is definitely going to be enough to rule the field. He only has one card in hand, which means our boys are going to be able to buff. Now what should we buff? Probably the e lower monsters, not the 2800. So him too. No, one up to 2k. Okay, that's that's uh, really good. We lower him. Fantastic play by me. We covered all back row with that math. So barrier couldn't hurt us. He's got a thunder thunder of his own. And the rice terrace secure. Swings over our tiniest boy. Dark Magician Girls over our other shark. We're still fine though. We've got a Vorce Raider. Two of the Thunder uh, Sparks. There's the Vorce Raider. There's the Angler Koi Fish. Coil Fish. Dark Magician Girls gone. Other boys gone. Phantom Bind just lowers our lowest boys. Honestly, gotta save that to save a monster, honestly. Period of Doom, he's getting everything he needs. There goes our biggest, still Vorce Raider, a beast to get over. Fire Golem Spellcaster, he's down to a thousand. Now Tornada can do it, he also destroys one of our Thunder Thunder. Cell Roads up to 2400, we got a Thunder Spark to Kamikaze him. Only a thousand life left, so he's gotta really hope that back row can put in a lot of work. We're gonna use the Duck, throw away the Tribute of Doom at our biggest boy. No real point in doing that. Stormbolt's going to bring him out. Amazingly resource efficient. We don't even bring out our biggest boy and just finish him with one swing. Great, great stuff, guys.